My wife and I have a 30 year mortgage, but we pay extra so that we're going to be done in 15 years. And when I went looking around for online calculators, I could find calculators that help me compare my current mortgage to a new mortgage. I could find calculators that help me figure out how much faster I was going to pay off my current mortgage. But I couldn't find a calculator that did both to really help me figure out is refinancing and paying extra on the new mortgage going to help me out at all. So I built my own calculator. I'm giving it away for free. And today I'm going to teach you how to use it. Hey, lovebirds, I'm Dan Hines, and welcome to Adulting with Money, where I help couples unite, not fight over their money, and where we believe that consistency beats perfection. So today I'm going to walk through three examples. First is how a regular refinancing calculator works. The second is my own situation and how I figured out that no, I really shouldn't refinance right now. And then number three, a situation where yes, it's obvious you should refinance. So let's get started. All right, so here we have the current loan that you have right now. And here's the new loan that maybe you shopped around online. Now, uh, let's say you go to this calculator and you've got $112,000 left on your mortgage. Your interest rate is 3.25% and your mortgage payment is $877.38. That's no escrow and you're not adding extra principal. In this case, it's gonna take you 13 years and a month to get rid of this mortgage. Now, let's say you're shopping around and you find a $112,000 mortgage at 15 years at 2.75 and you're not paying any extra. Well, the monthly payment is $760 a month, which would save you money each month, but it's gonna take you 15 years to pay that off uh, rather than 13 years. But you think, okay, well, you know, it's gonna save me some every month. What about the closing costs? So then you come over here, and if the closing costs are $2,615, and I found this online, so that's where I'm getting these numbers. The interest that you're gonna pay on your current loan is about 25 grand. The interest on the new loan is about 24 grand, which sounds like savings, but it's, you're only gonna save like $800 over the next 15 years. So if you're paying, 2600 to save 800 and it's going to take you longer to get out of debt this isn't a great idea but if you're in a situation like me you're paying extra principal payments how does that affect this situation in that case here is my actual mortgage and, and what we're figuring out so i've got about one hundred twelve thousand dollars left it really is at 325 our mortgage payment really is 877 without escrow and we send in about $620 a month in extra principal. So every month we're paying about $1,500 to pay off this mortgage and that's going to take us right at seven years. That's just lucky that it, it turned out that way. I went shopping online and I found a $112,000 mortgage at 15 years at 2.75%. Now again that's going to reduce the monthly payment but what if I want to pay this new loan off at the same dollar amount every month as my current loan. Well, in order to do that, this little box here will tell me, oh, to, to match what I'm already doing, I would send in an extra $737 a month in extra principal. So now I'm paying off the new loan at the same money amount as the old loan. And that's going to take us six years and 11 months to pay off. So in this situation, it saves us a month, which, okay, maybe. But if we go to the closing costs, if it's $2,600 and the interest on our current loan is about 13 grand, the interest on the new loan over time is going to be 11 grand, that's going to save us $2,300. Well, the problem is we'd be paying $2,600 to save $2,300. And it's only going to get us out of debt a month earlier. So in this situation, it, it really doesn't make sense. I could go and negotiate and see if I could get some uh, lower fees to make this work out, but it's so close. I don't really want to spend the time and the energy. But now let's look at a situation that it's obvious that yes, you should refinance. So same situation as I have right now, except maybe instead of 3.25, we are at 4%. And you know, we've our mortgage payment is the same. We're paying extra and we're going to be done in seven years and three months. And now you go shopping for a new loan, 112,000, 15 years. Interest rate is a lot lower. Well, that mortgage payment, again, is a lot lower than what we're paying. And if we're paying it off at the same rate 
as we are before, it's gonna take us six years and 11 months to pay off. So here, this is saving us like four months of time, which let's, that's pretty good. Now, if we go to the closing costs, we see that we are gonna be saving $6,000 in interest over the course of this loan. So if we're paying $2,600 to save 6,000 and four months of time, this seems like a pretty good idea. Now this part here, this break even time means to say that, well, because of how much you're saving in interest every single month, it's gonna take right about two years to break even. So you're paying $2,600, you recoup about $2,600 in costs in two years. So the rule of thumb is that if you are living in the house longer than it takes to recoup your closing costs, you're good to go. So example, if you're paying $2,600, but you're gonna sell the house in only a year, then it's not enough time to make back your money. You're gonna be paying more fees to get a new mortgage on another house, and it doesn't make sense. So this little box here is your rule of thumb, is that if you're going to be staying in the house longer than two years, yeah, this seems like a great idea. If you're gonna be selling it in like six months, you know you're gonna be moving, refinancing probably isn't gonna pay off for you. Um, and then if you're not sure, if you're maybe you're gonna move in two years, maybe not, this is where maybe you can talk with a realtor or a mortgage broker and negotiate and try to find a deal that works for you uh, even if you're on the fence. I do have a quick warning for you. Obviously this calculator isn't going to do everything. It doesn't consider PMI. There's a lot of stuff that it can't do. But if you're in a situation like me and a lot of people that I've talked to where you're paying extra on your mortgage and you're thinking about refinancing, this calculator is gonna be great help for you. Check out the description below for links to a Google Sheet version of this calculator and an Excel version as well. And if you wanna see how my friends saved $42,000 refinancing their mortgage, check out this video. Thanks and take care.